Okay, today we're going to make the fan on the right look like the fan on the left. I'm going to start out by taking a pre-cut sheet of red 3M Denock fiber that I've already cut out. I'm going to take it off and place it on the fan. Now the thing is, is I'm not going to really press it down. Just going to lightly move around it and start tapping on it because what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to find where the openings are and just using a little kind of a firm but not really a very strong press, I'm getting an idea where the indentions are and I'm moving it around. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingernail and I'm going to try to trace out where those edges are underneath it. And it's just going to give me a basic idea. Then once I know where everything is basically at, I'm going to start heating it up. And this is where it gets fun because this is where the 3M actually starts becoming pliable and you can start moving it around and getting it to start forming around the edges. Now, I will have to warn you that this takes a tremendous amount of heating it up, forming it, trimming it, cutting it, heating it up, forming it, trimming it, cutting it. So you're going to be doing a lot of repetitive processes throughout this from end to end. So as you can see, I'm, I'm moving this fan closer and further away from the heat source because I don't want to get it too hot, but at the same time, I want to keep it somewhat pliable so I can start really tracing around and getting the edges of what I need to trim out. Once I've got a basic idea, now I'm going to start releasing it from the different corners and the edges and that kind of thing. And once I've got it where it's not stuck hard to it, and I can really kind of give it a little bit more push in the, in the uh, open areas, what I'm looking to do right now is, is I'm getting it so I know exactly where all my corners are. I'm going to start from the corner, and I'm going to trim up and away and get rid of some of this excess because some of that excess number one is holding it from stretching number two it's holding it from being able to form very easily so I want to get rid of as much excess that's uh, causing me problems as possible so that's what I'm going to be doing here is, is I'm cutting through and I'm going to be cutting out all of this excess once I've got all that excess out of the way so I know that things aren't going to be holding in areas that I don't want it to then I go back to that warming the carbon fiber thing up again. As you can see now, I'm able to actually get in there with this carbon fiber and start wrapping it around those different spines. Again, I have to pull it away from the fan sometimes or away from the heat source because sometimes it just gets way too hot too quick. And it really takes a, a nice balance between moving it towards that heat and keeping it warm but not getting it too hot where you can't work on it. And so that's what I'm doing is, is I'm just, I'm forming those edges around, I'm bringing it in. But you can see there's places where I'm kind of having to stop. And this right here is where I will go in and past the point that I know that this thing has to lay down, but where it's creased at, I will cut. And that will relieve that vinyl from trying to fold over or crease on you. And so, once you get that cut, you can then start pushing this while it's still soft in and around each one of those tines. And as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And then that way you can see now how it lays down a little bit easier. Now I'm going to be able to heat that up and work that corner a little bit more. Also, these fans have got some really cool little kind of curves right before one of the thinner spine comes out. So really working those curves and keeping those formed as I keep doing this because every time you heat it up, it wants to go back to its regular shape. And so you want to make sure that when you form it, it's going to form it right into where you want it to. Now here I'm trying to get the corners, and the corners are really a pain, but you've got, you've got to work them. I mean, it just takes time to work them. As you can see right here, I'm going to take that little razor, and I'm going to cut a relief spot, so one side will fold a little bit more to the right easier and I'm able to get those things tucked in and tucked under 
and around those spines. Now I'm spreading those out and right here I realized I didn't cut it far enough so I need just a little bit more of a cut in to allow this stuff to form and roll. As I said, there is a lot of heat it, form it, trim it, do it again. Heat it, form it, trim it, do it again. And one of the biggest keys that I can say that you should always have is plenty of very, very sharp new razor blades. Because as this stuff heats up, it gets thicker, it gets tougher. And you need to have a really, really sharp razor blade to work on these or you're going to be really frustrated with it. Um, when you don't have a good razor blade to work with, it's just really a pain to try to uh, trim and cut and everything else. It takes a lot of patience to be able to keep working this stuff and forming it around the spines and trimming it, working it, trimming it, etc. It takes just a lot of dedication to make sure that you want to get this thing done right and do your little detailed cuts. And what I try to do is I try to follow the curve of the circle as I cut off each one of the ends. I don't try to just cut them straight. I want to make them somewhat curve, even though you're not going to see them. Uh, that's the thing is a majority of this you're not going to see around the edges when it's mounted into the case just for the simple fact the case is going to cover those endpoints up. But for me, I like to know that they were all trimmed nice and neat to begin with. This right here, when you're trying to trim it underneath between the fan blades and back there, that is the most critical place. You really need a good, sharp, brand new blade. And what I did was I actually edited that out of this video. I stopped and put a brand new blade into this just because those I know I need to have as sharp and sharp of a blade as I can. Now that I've got it basically done, I was trying to work on those little curves and trying to get a little uh, crease that came up around that curve. I'm working that out of it right now. And it takes, again, heating it, forming it, heating it, forming it. And you just got to work it. Uh, really, you've got to work that carbon fiber right around to the point that you want it. What I've done here is, is I've heated it up and now I'm going to put my fingers into these little curves and I'm going to let it kind of harden right there. And so while I'm holding it, it's cooling off and it's shaping itself to those little curves. And we are done. We have completed the fan and made it look just like the other one. What do you say we take some pictures and show how this thing went together? Thank you for watching.